Hello again, it's Eric with Better Every Shave. Back again with a, you guessed it, a shave. <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing? I'm doing great. I just got some new stuff from HCNC and that's always a good thing. So um, let's see, you joined me ready to go, but uh, let's cover what I'm, what I'm using today. So I have got HCNC's um, unscented and with that I have three drops of Havana Breeze uh, scenting oil and I've got that whipped up nice and lovely in the bowl here and I will be using the Pearl Flexi and there I have a first use menorah blade this is actually the first time I've ever used a menorah blade and I'm starting out on setting three. All right, let's get to it. The Flexi is a new razor for me. I got this just before Christmas. I've had maybe four shades with it. And they've all been just fine. It is a extremely heavy razor. And honestly, I can't remember how heavy. I think it's I'm gonna say five ounces, six ounces. It's it's very heavy. Um, yeah, but it feels super premium. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get on the two for the uh, second pass. And uh, yeah, very well made. And uh, yeah, I got it off of Amazon. Uh, Pearl has an Amazon store and they have the Flexi, the uh, K2, uh, yeah, several of their razors are on there. I can't, I can't think of the other models. Um, yeah, I'm drawing a blank right now. It is very nice to be back with you again. It is fairly soon. I was just, uh, just put out a video eh, three, four days ago. Really wanted to just be regular again, get back to putting out videos on a more regular basis. Oh, forgot to mention the little green brush. Well, I guess it's not too little. Is a 24 millimeter Yachi Yaki. I say Yachi, I think Yachi is the right way to say it. Uh, with a plus soft knot and uh, it's the same handle that they use on their dandelion, which would have the uh, the white knot. And I can't think of what they call that at the moment. So, all right, setting two, across the green. This is uh, definitely um, can be aggressive on the higher settings and so I don't really go higher than three and even on three um, I don't know if you can hear that I have to check the uh, the specifications on this because I have a feeling that it's pretty blade forward because um, I you can really feel the blade and um, depending on your taste, that's a, that's a good thing. In my case, it's, it's not so bad. I just, uh, I need to be more careful with it. Because on that first, uh, with the grain pass, I did get a little nick there on my chin. 
and that was just because I was trying to push too hard using too much force so I'm going to go to not to one be about one and a half um, last time I used it on one I think it was just a, a little too uh, a little too mild or less efficient than I'd like it to be when I kind of get that um, get that against the grain to be a little closer so um, yeah I'm already feeling irritation again I don't I have not used a menorah blade so I don't know how that feels in one of my like known good razors so it's a little difficult to judge exactly what's going on whether it's me being ham-fisted which is entirely possible um, or whether it's the blade or it's kind of feels like a cop-out to blame the blade though so all right let's see how we do with this Mm. Yeah, still maybe a little bit more there than I'd like. Yeah, that was not so bad. Mm. Mm. Seems like there's a division between either talking videos or ASMR videos, and uh, I think there can be both. <laughs> I think you can combine it. So those areas where there's a lot of nice feedback, you know, be quiet and <laughs> don't listen to me. I'm just being goofy. He's good. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> now the hard part. Not bad. I may do a little bit of pickup, pickup action. Yeah, I think I will, instead of shaving dry skin. All right. Let's feel rain. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit on the cheeks. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go for a pickup. <coughs> go back up to two.
Much better. All right. That was the easy part. Much better. So, the really exciting part of this shave and the really exciting thing for me that I got from Hendrix Classics is the Tiger Milk Aftershave Splash in Havana Breeze, which is my <laughs> sort of an OG tobacco scent. I love it. It's uh, pretty much just straight tobacco and uh, I just I love it so first use shake it up a little bit oh, smells good let's see what we got oh, no. There it is. That's oh, beautiful. That's interesting. There's almost a. It's not. It's gonna say leather. No, it's it's the tobacco, but it's a different slice of it. It's almost like it's the like the wrapper of the cigar instead of the tobacco inside. There it goes. As it dries down, it's starting to uh, it's starting to sort of push that that fragrance is coming through. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. All right, finish up with the Sterling Unscented, which is so good. Very light, not greasy. I used a little too much there, but the uh, the way that I judge whether it's greasy or not is how hard is it to get it off of my hand. So it's all over my hand right now. I've had bombs where just doing this, like I'm running the water and sort of cupping and uh, moving my fingers around. And just by doing that, it's gone. So that's all I want. I guess some people like a thicker, maybe heavier, greasier feel. But I, even things like sunblock, I have never been able to, to deal with heavy stuff on my face. I just can't, I can't do it. So I just sort of pat off the excess. Fantastic. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I have heard really good things about sort of the skin food nature. You can see how sort of cloudy that is. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, feels very nice. Good shave. Very close, very clean. No stubble. And of course, in an hour, it'll feel, you know, perfectly smooth. And uh, yeah, super happy with that. All right, uh, <laughs> so thanks to, uh, to Pete <laughs> at Hendrix Classics and Company. Um, I mean, I, I bought it, it's not like he gave it to me, but uh, thanks for continuing to put out excellent products. Apparently the Ladies Man fragrance is, is coming out, the whole, the whole set. Uh, that's t today's Thursday, the 5th of January, and I think it comes out the 6th. <laughs> I don't know if that's a hard and fast date, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're shooting for. And he did send me a little bottle of the EDP uh, as a sample, which is awesome. It smells great. I'm not going to say anything about it, but uh, yeah, good stuff. So, all right. Um, 
nothing else. <laughs> uh, really enjoyed that and uh, glad you could share that with me today. Thanks for coming. Thanks for spending your time here and uh, I will see you again very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.